Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon and back. <laughs> How did I feel when um, I was told that my baby had Down syndrome? Well, I felt like I'd been given the wrong baby. There was a little part of me that didn't want to acknowledge it, I suppose. I was mad. I was so mad. The shock really was indescribable. Seguro que vas a sentir vertigo, miedo, millones de preguntas vendrán a tu cabeza. We had a little cry. I feel that every mother feel the same thing, you know, blaming myself and or just more worried about my son's future. I was frightened, I think, of the future. Hur skulle hon vara? Hur skulle hon ta sig emot? Vad skulle alla säga? I felt quite distanced in a way. Um, and, and that's horrible to say that now, but I did. J'ai été terrifiée par l'idée que mon conjoint pouvait me laisser seule avec ce bébé qui n'était pas du tout celui que j'avais prévu, celui que j'avais imaginé, celui que j'avais désiré. Uh, I loved her. I had a really strong protective love for her, but every time I looked at her, I seemed to keep losing her behind this Down syndrome mask. I watched my dreams of my perfect baby girl just fizzle away um, and I grieved what I thought my daughter was supposed to be. I wept for all the things he would never do and all the things he would never be um, and I wept for myself too um, and I was, I was absolutely heartbroken, there was no other word for it. Sadness doesn't really quite cover it. It was grief. If I could go back and speak to myself on that day, I would tell myself, I know you think this is your fault. It's not your fault. It's okay to have feelings of anger and sadness and grief, of feeling of a loss of what you expected your first child to be like. What I would say is, don't be afraid. Don't think of lost dreams. That picture that you thought had been obliterated is still there, but it's embellished because he brings extra. He brings more than you could have imagined. What have you got to look forward to, I wonder? Well, I would tell you that you were gonna fall in love afresh with your daughter every day. Tu vas avoir un amour inimaginable pour ce petit bonhomme. Tu as déplacé des montagnes pour lui. You have no idea how this child is going to change your life for the positive, not for the negative. Det kommer till och med bli bättre än vad ni någonsin trodde var möjligt. She is totally and utterly perfect, except she's not because she wakes at 5am sometimes and at two and a half she's becoming a fussy and stroppy eater. No man. He is the centre of attention. Everybody loves him. Everybody knows who he is. I tell you what you will love about Luna. Every time she sees you and you've walked in from outside, the look of unbridled joy on her face. Mondays she does athletics. Tuesday she does swimming. She gets her 12 year old brother to kiss her when no one in the world can come near him. Wednesdays she does ballet. Thursdays she does trampoline. Mm -hmm. Hon kommer vara så oerhört älskad. Både av vår familj, av sina syskon. Jag kan inte tänka mig hur mitt liv skulle vara utan vår fantastiska lilla solskenstråle. I've always thought that I'd say to myself everything will be okay, even though 
I don't know that for a fact. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, honey. Um, but hey, being a parent isn't. Ça va me mettre très difficile. Voir carrément, carrément insurmontable et pff, là, là. You will cope. Uh, in fact, it will make you a stronger person because you will fight for your child. Trust yourself as a parent. Uh, don't get tricked into thinking that professionals know everything. They know a lot, but they don't know your child. I think it's really important to go out there and find the people that you connect with. Having a support group helped uh, tremendously. You're going to meet lots of wonderful people. And we love nothing more than to welcome a new family into our folds. She will not hit the milestones when you want to, but she will hit them. They're coming. Oh my goodness! So, after being told when he was younger all the things he wouldn't be able to do, she will do so much more than you ever ever imagined. He will go to a mainstream secondary school, make lots of friends and get two GCSEs. He'll get a job he loves, working at a local bakery and be a favourite with customers and his work colleagues. He is a 19 year old young man who dreams of being a professional wildlife and landscape photographer. That dream is fast becoming a reality. She will be able to live as mainstream a life as possible. You're going to create that for her. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, gorgeous. Oh, how are you? Oh, hi, Mum. She's going to live on her own without you, but with friends. He will make his mark on the world and take charge of his life if you're prepared to let him do it. And that will be hard um, because you think that if you're not there, something can't be fixed, can't be sorted out. Um, but you will do it. She's going to make her own choices and at some point in the future, she's going to fall in love. And I'm going to tell you something that you probably won't believe. <clears throat> you will come to realise that the Down syndrome is part of Audrey and it makes her who she is. And you love everything about her. So you wouldn't erase the Down syndrome because it might change her. And you would never want to change her because she's just so wonderful and amazing the way she is. Tu vas apprendre beaucoup de choses. Tu vas apprendre qui tu es, au fond, qui tu es vraiment, qui était caché au fond de toi. Today I'm a social worker, I'm an activist. I learned so many things and everybody asked me who encouraged you and I said proudly that in my life my ideal person is my son. Without him I'm nothing. Open your heart and get ready because your life is going to change and it's scary but it's not bad. It's not bad. Et quand tu auras fait ce chemin là tu auras touché le bonheur du bout du doigt. So buckle up and enjoy the ride because it's going to be a fantastic one. So just enjoy every moment. Uh, congratulations because you've just had a baby girl. 